Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Let's consider the next example So we asked to find the magnitude of the force P required to just start opening the 2 meter width gate and neglect the weight of the gate So here we have a gate So the gate is rectangle whereby the width of the gate is 2 meter and the slanted height of the gate is equal to 5 meter because this is 3, this is 4 so by Pythagoras theorem this must be 5 right so the water level is such that it's 1 meter above the hinge okay so the gate is hinged here to a concrete so if you consider the gate there will be hydrostatic force acting below the centroid. Centroid will be in the middle here, so there will be hydrostatic force here acting normal to the gate, which will cause an anticlockwise movement. Right? And then we will try to open the gate by applying a force P at the end of the gate here and in the vertical directions. The movement that we apply will create a clockwise movement. So we ask to find the magnitude of this movement. So let's draw a schematic diagram of this case. So we have a concrete here and we have a hinge and this gate here. So this is the bottom part and the water level is up to here and we're going to apply force P here and given that the distance from here to here is 3 meter and from here to here is 4 meter so that means that this distance must be 5 meter and then this distance is equal to 1 meter. So the first things that we need to do is we view the gate from normal directions. So what we can see is a rectangular gate. So we will determine the center of gravity. So this is the COG. That's the COG. And then this height here is equal to H bar. And this slanted distance from there to there is equal to Y bar. And let's call this angle theta. Right. Then the width of the gate is equal to 2 meter and the height of the gate is equal to 5 meter so the force will be acting slightly below the COG so that's the hydrostatic force so it will be acting through this point and that is our COP and we have this distance here is our YCP. Right. So we ask to find P, find the value of P. Right. And we also know that H bar is actually equal to Y bar sine theta. And then this is also theta. So we know that sine theta is equal to 4 over 5. Okay, so first of all, if we find the value of H, F hydrostatic, so the formula is FH is equal to rho G H bar A, right? So H bar, H bar is equal to this distance, so this distance is equal to this distance plus this distance, so 1 plus 2, so it's 3 meter. Then A is actually this area so is equal to 2 times 5 is equal to 10 meters squared 
So that allow us to calculate a fish. So it's row G fish bar is three, A is ten. So that gives us two hundred and ninety-four point three kilo newton. Okay. So the next thing is find YCP. So the formula is YCP is IXX over Y bar A. So IXX because it's a rectangle, so it's BD cube over 12. So 2, 5 cube divided by 12. That gives us 20.833. And that allows us to calculate YCP which is just IXX is 20.833. Y bar is H bar over sine theta. So it's 3 multiplied by 4 over 5, multiplied by 1 over area, area is 10. So that gives YCP is equal to 0 0.556 meter. Okay. So the last part, is calculating the value of P. So in order to do that, what we need to do is just balancing the moment, clockwise moment created by P. So it will be P multiplied by this distance, which is 3. And then that must be balanced by FH, which we have already calculated, multiplied by this distance here, which will be that distance plus YCP. That distance is equal to 2.5 plus YCP. So I can say balancing moment about inch. So we'll have P multiplied by 3. And this must be equal to FH multiplied by 2.5 plus YCP. This allows us to calculate P, which is equal to FH is 2.4.3 kilonewton multiplied by 2.5 YCP 0 0.556 divided by 3. So this gives us P is equal to 299.8 kilonewtons. Okay, so we get P is equal to 299.8 kilonewton. So just now, we assume that the weight of the gate is negligible. So now what if the weight of the gate is non-negligible? So if the weight of the gate is non-negligible, that means that we need to also consider the moment due to the weight of the gate. So the gravitational force due to the weight will be acting at the centroid of the gate. So this is the K, this is the centroid of the K, so it will be acting downward. So now let us draw the schematic diagram again and draw the free body diagram. So this is the K to K, this is the bottom and that's the water level. So just now we apply the force P at the bottom here, and we have already calculated the hydrostatic force. And now we need to consider another force, which is the weight. And this question says that the weight is equal to 100 kilonewton. So again, we ask to find P. So the hydrostatic force and the line of actions have been calculated earlier. So now if we take moment about the hinge gain, considering the weight, so we will have P multiplied by 3 again, and this must be equal to FH multiplied by the arm, so which is 2.5 plus YCP, and plus the weight, so the weight multiplied by the arms. So the arms will be from here to here. 
since the distance from here to here is 3, so halfway through is 1.5. So we can calculate P is equal to 294.3. 2.5 plus YCP is 0 0.556 plus the weight is 100 kilonewtons multiplied by 1.5 divided by 3. So that gives us P is equal to 349.79 kilonewton. So, so P is equal to 349.79 kilo newton. If you compare without the weight, P is equal to 299.8 kilo newton. So you can see that because the weight is non-negligible, the force that you need to apply at the end here in the vertical direction P will be slightly higher.